you guys. I am so honored to have you here. Words cannot it, even come close to explaining this challenge. This was a tremendous challenge. A hard fault challenge, without a doubt. Uh, the winner of this challenge definitely cannot say it was handed to me on a silver platter. That's for certain. Two honorable challengers fought tooth and nail all the way to the end. That is for certain. So I definitely want to thank Derek of Big D's Pythons and Brian of Patterson's Morphs. Tonight's security is being handled by Big E and Ivory of Ebony and Ivory Reptiles. Tonight's party is being hosted by Dean and Laura of Bristol Balls. <laughs> All the way from England. Alright, let's turn up the house lights so we can see who's in the audience tonight. Okay. This man needs no introduction. It is Kike of Bosa Ball. Honored to have you here tonight, TK. All right, guys, let's recap a little bit in this Series 8 and see who our winners of the King of the Hill have been so far. In Round 1, Series 8, our King of the Hill winner was KC Royal. In Round 2, our King of the Hill winner was Wiz Constrictors. And that brings us up to tonight to announce our Series 8 Round 3 King of the Hill winner, and that person is, drum roll please. <laughs> our Round 3 King of the Hill winner is, Derek of Big D's Python. I can't stress enough how this challenge was so close. Old Big D won by two votes, all right? If two people had not chosen to vote that day, we would have had a tie. We would have had a tie. And again, this challenge was certainly not handed to uh, Derek at all. He had to fight tooth and nail for it, just as well as Brian from Patterson's Morphs. They fall hard all the way. And that is how these challenges should work each and every week, without a doubt. Like I've said in the past, you don't want to be that guy who loses by 40 votes, okay? You don't want to be that guy. You want to be that guy who loses by one vote. All right, you know, two votes where there was a fight struggle all the way. I know for a fact that both of these challengers were constantly uh, beating the bushes, like I like to say, and trying to get people to come over and vote, without a doubt. And they did a great, great job. I definitely want to thank Brian of Patterson Morse, who just exemplifies what the meaning of a challenger is. That brings us to what's coming up now. Now, tonight's challenge is for King of the Mountain. You've heard our three winners, our three King of the Hill challengers, Casey Royals, Wiz Constrictors, and Big D's Pythons. Those are the three. Now, let's see who you are voting for. Which challengers are you voting for? What are they bringing to the table? Challenger one, KC Royals with his banana, inchy, Mojave yellow belly. Challenger two, Wiz Constrictors with his lesser Krypton. And challenger three, Big D's Pythons with his black pastel blue ghost. Now, I shouldn't have to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. 
I'm going to give you all my helpful hints and little tidbits of advice on how to win this challenge. I definitely encourage you to go on to Instagram, Vero, YouTube if you got it, TikTok, Facebook. Have all your buddies come over here. Tell your mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, cousins, nieces, nephews, grandma, grandpa, your worst friends and your best friends to all hightail it over here. Vote in the comments below. Preferably they will subscribe. Ain't nothing wrong with subscribing. How much does that cost? I, let's see, last I heard it cost nothing. Yeah, it cost nothing. But come over here and vote in the comments below for your favorite, okay? Um, these are experienced challengers, all of them. KC Royals, Wiz Constrictors, and Big D's Pythons. They know how to get the job done. Now let's see if they can bring the cash to the table and get it done. Walk that dog, get it already out of here. Let's see who is going to be able to bring the folks over here and vote in the comments below. And again, those challengers are challenger one, KC Royals with his banana, Inchi, Mojave Yellow Belly. Challenger two, Wiz Constrictors with his lesser Krypton. And challenger three, Big D's Pythons with his Black Castell Blue Ghost. Voting ends next. Tuesday morning at 12.01 Eastern Time, okay? So for you guys over in England, you need to pull out your calculators or whatever it is you gotta do and look at that clock and see how far uh, off that is. I believe it's like four or five hours. I think it, in fact, I think it's like five hours difference in time. So at 12.01 a.m. Tuesday, it's going to be like 5.01 a.m. in the morning for you guys already. So just make sure you calculate that. What I would do is I would vote, get all my voting knocked out before you go to bed that night and, uh, you know, see how it turns out. 12.01 a.m. If it's 12 o'clock Monday night, midnight, and you're all partying and having a good time, you better vote because at 12.01, no voting takes place after that. You can vote all you want, but your votes are not going to count. Uh, I have definitely had in the past where people have voted after the, the deadline, and sadly, I just look at it, and I, there's nothing I can do about it. Those votes do not count. So be sure and vote before 12.01. Now, the winner will be announced Wednesday at 8 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. So be sure and come back. Be sure and come back and see who's in the crowd. Now you guys know that when we do our King of the Mountain contest, uh, those challenges, we have really special guests out in the audience. You never can tell who that's going to be. Uh, who's going to be hosting that party? I don't know. Who's going to be handling security? Now you also know that when we have the King of the Mountain contest, there's all kinds of big time people here. And, um, <laughs> You know, tempers may flare, you know, we gotta keep everybody in check. So who's handling that security? I don't know, but it could be you.